Hi guys, welcome to today's episode of Off the Rails. In our previous episode, we talked about how there's people who do what's called shifting when they can will themselves into the world of Harry Potter. For real, not imagination. They're really there in Hogwarts. So today I'm gonna to be using the Ravenclaw method to shift myself into the world of Harry Potter. I have the crew here who's going to be giving me positive affirmations that I am indeed a wizard, which I know I am. And eventually, hopefully this is gonna end up with me having a um, sexual encounter with Hagrid. That's the goal here, folks. So with that being said, let's get on shifting, boys. And girls watching, you boys, but girl, everybody watching. The Raven method involves laying in a starfish position and counting to 100, usually with subliminals playing or with positive affirmations said between numbers. All right, let's do, let's start the ceremony, guys. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna relax. So what, we're just, you're a wizard and shit? Like, what are we? I don't know. How are we affirming you? You're a wizard. You can use magic as real. All right. Ethan, you're a wizard. You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Ethan. You're a wizard. You're a wizard. One. Two. Hagrid. Hermione Granger. Hagrid. Uh, Ron Hermione. Weasley. Ron Weasley. Yeah. Drake, yeah. Draco Milfoy. Milfoy. Draco. Uh, <laughs> David, hey. David, can David Copperfield. Yo, can David you bet? David Copperfield. Can you guys maybe just try, like, I'm trying to do Harry Potter. Why are you talking about David Copperfield? He's can a you, magician. He's one can one you try a little bit harder? He's, He's an illusionist. He doesn't have a fuck. He can't do an abracadabra. He can't do a Patronus. Can you guys try a little harder, please? Because you're killing me. Gandalf's pretty good. Gandalf. Gandalf is fucking Lord of the Gandalf. Rings, bro. Gandalf is a wizard. Stop. He was a good character. One. You're a wizard. Two. Yeah. You're a wizard. You're a wizard. Yeah. Yeah. You're a wizard. Yeah. 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 Eighty-six. You're a wizard. This is, uh... You're a wizard. Ninety-five. You're a wizard. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. Oh my god. Oh. I can't believe it. I'm in... Harry Potter. Is that... Dobby? Come over here, Dobby. Oh my goodness, it's so nice to see you. Hello. You don't talk? Hello. Hi. Oh, that sounds a lot like love, but wow, it looks just like Dobby. I can't believe- Oh my god! Is that the Hogwarts Express? Dobby, come ride on the Hogwarts with me. The Hogwarts yes, Express. Yes, this is a- ah, I'm shifted! Let's go! Dobby, let's go to Hogwarts on the Hogwarts Express, baby! He's gonna fucking kill himself! Jesus Christ! Ethan! 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 Dobby, do you see that? Dobby, stop fucking and listen, look! That's I'm Voldemort! Done. You had a chance to kill Hitler as a baby. Would you take it? I would. Voldemort! This is now! I love you guys, fuck me, okay, okay. Ethan! 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 We did it, Dobby. We saved Hogwarts. Fuck you, Voldemort, you bitch. Get him the fuck off that couch, me! Get him off of that! Get him off! Get him off! At what cost, Dobby? At what cost did we do it? Oh, Hagrid. I saved Hogwarts. Just let me smell your armpit. What the fuck? Where am I? What is all this? Lovebot? What happened you to you? Lovebot? How did this happen oh. to you? Oh, Dan! Dan, you can fix him, right? Talk no, to me. happy to be with his friends. <laughs> this time. No, 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 don't say that, Lovebot. Such a beautiful place. No, Dan, can friends. you fix him? Uh... No! Lovebot! No! Hey, 
It's off the rails. We're back. Totally off the rails as usual. Today's episode is sponsored by Bespoke Post and Upstart. Love, are you okay? He's fine. You know he's fine. Yeah, he's doing indestructible. Okay. I'm doing fine. I'll tell you what, that love bot is pretty hardy though. It's no Gatsby, but it's take already taking a good amount of punishment. Yeah, it seems to be in good working order. Oh yeah. So what um I shifted you guys. I was able to achieve shifting. And, you know, it was everything they said it would be and more. I killed Voldemort. I had a sexual experience with Hagrid. Where his cock filled, like, the whole cabin. Yeah, we left that part out of the edit, but, uh... Yeah, it was too graphic it got, it got for the pretty, first 30 seconds. It got pretty weird in here. I filled the whole cabin. The roof fell off. was blasted off. Splinters everywhere. But I was enveloped. And his cock meat, like a blanket of cock meat of Hagrid's. Yeah, people thought when I was describing uh, Hogwarts, uh, uh, Hagrid's growing penis, people thought that I was really into fan fiction. Is fan fiction really like that? Don't play dumb. You, Stop. I, 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 do they dumb? really talk like that? Like his cock <laughs> meat grew and blew off the cabin and I was enveloped in it. <laughs> Anal sex. Uh, I'm not super. I'm not uh, super deep into the uh, world of fan fiction myself either, but... Um, I thought I was being over the top. Oh, here's the comments, if you guys don't believe me. Ethan's Hagrid shifting fanfic was way too detailed. I know he's done it before. <laughs> not gonna lie, the Draco fanfic in Ethan's voice was probably the most unsettling thing on the planet. Yeah, well. Basically, the actor who plays Draco, Tom Felton, is a fan of Teddy Fresh. Vis-a-vis, -vis, anything's possible. Draco. I'll uh, yeah, it's Draco. Whatever. Draco. In my fantasy, it's Draco. That's not your ID! <laughs> Ethan putting his English college degree to good use with that Harry Potter fan fiction. Thank you. That's a compliment. This second kid is going to go back and watch this expecting something wholesome just to be ass blasted by Harry Potter fanfics. What is that referring to? To your second child on the way. Because uh, this is the episode... <laughs> That the pregnancy was announced, so it's kind right. of for posterity. Uh, they might go back and watch it, and they're just going to see their dad ranting about Hagrid's stick for 20 minutes. That makes sense. Yeah, I wonder what the kids are going to think about this. I mean, they're going to, it's just interesting to think that they're going to have all this content to tap into. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, none something of tells me they won't care or be interested because usually <laughs> kids don't, they're not impressed. Maybe not as kids or teenagers, but, um, but maybe later in life, you know. You think so? You think yeah. they'll respect me? What I've done with my career? Well, you know. Hagrid. We'll find out. Don't you want to, wouldn't, wouldn't you want to lay in bed in a cock blanket? Hagrid's giant wizard cock. Uh, we actually have a caller um, on Discord who reached out to me who had some uh, firsthand experience with uh, shifting and you're really? not gonna we have a shifter yeah and not it's not just any shifter you're you're gonna be put them on i'm really impressed i have so many questions all right ladies and gentlemen the president of the united states joseph robinette biden robinette what's his middle name robinette robinette huh joseph oh. joe folks man look here i am man look <laughs> you bet your bottom dollar i know about about shifting man Wow. So tell me about your experience with shifting. Uh, the president of the United States is a shifter. That's odd. Well, look, look, I'm a huge potter head. I, I shifted once into that there, the Hogwarts. And I got the opportunity. I, I got her, her, my, her mini Granger. I smelled her hair. Wow. And one of the best memories. Wow. You want to confess that right now that you shifted just to smell Hermione's hair? That's a little bizarre. Her hair is luscious, luscious locks, man. Look, <laughs> and I remember pass, passing the crime bill back in '94. That was another, another one of my favorite me memories, man. Okay, the crime. Well, okay, cool. Uh, in cool, Harry Potter or in real up. life? Because I'm confused now. What you're talking about, <laughs> folks? This is this is uh, this is real. This is a real world, real world with the wizards. Oh, oh, okay. Does Joe know where he? I'm, uh, it, uh, Joe, maybe he's shifting right now. Joe, are you okay? So, yeah, okay. So you want to tell me about your shifting experience? Kind of like uh, how did you how did you get involved in shifting? What did you do when you were shifting? 
Yeah, yeah, sure. Sure thing, Fatso. Fats. What? Uh, Ethan. That's rude. I know uh, I know. Uh, one, two, three, or four about shifting, man. Look, when I shift my, my 52 Plymouth Cran book uh, up to, to 65, all the birds do a soda found soiree down by Don Levy's cattle crow's nest. I'll tell all you right. why. All right. Thank you, Joe. I don't He's. I don't think he knows you what he is right now. Ever shifted a black magic Joe zenith to channel two and see Joyce Randolph, Sean, Sean All right. King. You can, cut, you, you can cut him off. Bro. Okay. I'm sorry, Joe. Hey, Joe. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Joe Biden. Um, well, we did get that he smelled Hermione Granny's hair, but everything else was intelligible. <laughs> wow. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Gentlemen. Yeah. A shifter. You'd think Joe Biden would have something better to do than call our show. Yeah. There's a pandemic. There's like, you know, right? there's like so many problems in this country. Right. Joe Biden. Watching up. Harry Potter shifting TikTok. <laughs> Not sure. Now you're living. Yo, you guys got to see this. So y'all remember the no such thing as a coincidence, that great meme from TikTok. In fact, let me show it to renew your guys' memory. Um, let me find it. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Here it is. There's no. All right, so cut in. Let us know when you're good, Ian. I, you guys remember this guy? He goes, there's no such thing as a coincidence. We're energetically aligned. And he just talks about some random bullshit here. No such thing as a coincidence. The fact that you're watching this video means you are energetically aligned with me and Aquafarians. Aquafarians? know them as mermaids. So he, he uses the fact that I'm watching the video being such a coincidence that whatever he says is true. It was great. It was a great meme. Okay. We've learned recently that there may not be such thing as a coincidence. He was right. He was right. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Yo, okay. This is such a deep rabbit hole. <laughs> Trisha Paytas with the no such thing as a coincidence guy. In a video from 2016. Now, th this gets even crazier, okay? No such thing as a coincidence with Trisha Paytas. And then guess who's this girl? That's the other, that's the girl we were talking about like an episode or two ago. She was the 16 year old. Courtney Stodden, yeah, who Court was married to like a 50 year old or whatever. She was married to the 50 year old from the Green Mile, the shitty guard. How is this possible that everything comes connected? <laughs> Dude, we are There's energetically no aligned. This is insane. The fact that Trisha did a video with him and Courtney and Stoddard in 2016 means there's no such thing as a coincidence. There's right. no such thing as a coincidence. Wow. There's no such thing as a coincidence. <laughs> I wonder if he sh Harry Potter shifts. Does that blow your guys' mind? I mean, this is insane. Yeah, I, when I saw that, somebody posted it on the subreddit, <laughs> and I was... I was flabbergasted. I, I thought it was just, they were just goofing at first. And I was like, oh, this guy just looks like him. But if you look at the Instagram account, it's the same guy, William Knight, I believe. is. Well, name. and then the weird thing, too, is like, we go, oh, it's the no such thing as a coincidence guy. That's crazy. But then we watch the video and we go, oh, my God. Right. That's also no Courtney Stuttered or whatever her name is, who yeah. we just talked about. Just talked about. Are you sure this is the same guy? He looks so different. It's the same guy. Holy shit, bro. We are so energetically aligned. <laughs> there's, there's no, no such, such thing, thing as a coincidence. coincidence. Whoa! I literally, we are Bro. so energetically aligned we right are now. Tune. How did this happen? Bro, the fact that you've watched this video of me reacting to that right now means that the government is going to put out a classified, they're supposed to put out the classified thing this month of UFOs. And all the UFOs are going to be Trisha Paytas. All the aliens are Trisha Paytas. No such thing as a coincidence. There's no such thing as a coincidence. How is it that Trisha Paytas is in literally everything? She's been everywhere. There's no such thing as a coincidence. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Trisha Paytas was pictured. This is going to blow your mind. If I can find my cursor. This is going to blow your mind. Trisha Paytas was pictured at the assassination of JFK. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Whoa. On the grassy knoll. This is her right here. Explain that. 
She's, we are energetically aligned right now. She's the second no shooter? As a coincidence. She may have been. I mean, how? I mean, what the fuck? Now you're living. Trisha Paytas was at the O.J. Simpson trial. Did you know that? There's no such thing as a coincidence. There is no such thing as a coincidence. We are energetically aligned. She looks like she's having a good time. She's there. Yeah, she's having way too much fun. This is a serious situation, Trisha. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Got to note that the music's too loud. Trisha Paytas was in India with the Beatles, apparently. Wow. Didn't expect that one. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Yeah, she fits right in. Bro, Trisha Paytas has been everywhere. She's been on every show and in every reality. Trisha Paytas was at the Muhammad Ali, this picture, whatever this was, <laughs> round one. Jesus, you too. There's even. no such thing Jesus. as a coincidence. Wow, she's energetically aligned with everything. What if Trisha is literally like the common thread in the whole universe? Like she is string theory. She ties all the universe oh, together. Oh, yeah. She's like the God particle. Hmm. Trisha Paytas was at Tenement Square Massacre. <laughs> and she's posing. She's like, cheers. She's like, jeez. <laughs> There's oh, no, no such thing as a coincidence. This is insane. Oh. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. I, I... Trisha Paytas at the Titanic taking a cannonball? That's just inappropriate. There's no such thing as a coincidence. This is just not taking the situation seriously. Yeah, that's a tragic event. There's no such thing as a coincidence, though. Trisha Paytas, uh, 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 what the fuck is this? That's uh, Vladimir uh, Lenin with uh, in the Russian Revolution. She was at the Russian Revolution. Uh, She's a communist. Comrade uh, Paytas. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. There's Vladimir no. Putin. I cannot believe this. That's wild. Trisha Paytas was with Abraham Lincoln in fact, <laughs> um, during the Civil War, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Even though she doesn't seem to know what the Civil War is she was there yeah she didn't take she didn't learn she didn't stop to learn mm -hmm. that much oh my god she filmed an <laughs> apology video on the moon that is outrageous <laughs> i cannot believe this information i have a lot of questions she was at the last, the supper. last supper holy shit. wait she's judas isn't that judas that's where judas sat i i don't know holy maybe shit. <laughs> A little late on that sound drop. I cannot believe what I've learned about Trish Paytas. Wow. And that. Yeah, there's no such thing as a coincidence. Yeah. There's anyway, no such thing as a coincidence. That tripped me out, so we had to do a whole thing about it. I gotta ask her about this. It seems like she's in a sexual relationship with them, if I'm gonna be totally honest. Or that girl, especially. They're just they're just being girls. Really? Just I don't know. Having a night out. I don't know. I don't I don't make out with my homies like that. Maybe I should start. I don't know. It looks like she's trying to fuck if I'm just interpreting what I'm looking at. <laughs> Gotta ask her about this, man. I'm gonna come. <laughs> anyway. So there's some head so we've we've got quite a show here coming up. We've got Andrew Callahan, formerly from All Gas No Breaks, calling in in a little bit to discuss. His, re his new channel, basically, is a really interesting story behind his departure from All Gas, No Breaks, a show that we love, and uh, his establishing of Channel 5. So looking forward to that. And until then, did you guys, I, I, I'm having a hard time. This is a big drama on YouTube. Minecraft drama. Dream is this Minecraft YouTube speedrunner who's like, catapulted to fame i mean if you go to his channel here um gosh he he has 22 million but i feel like he just got started like a year ago 23 million subs just watching my algorithms get crushed right and his he's got these these minecraft videos that have like 30 to 90 million views now i'm not putting a value judgment i don't know anything about minecraft so i'm not saying like oh this content's stupid or whatever i don't you know i don't know Clearly, it's good. People love it, you know. Do any of you guys know anything about Dream? Uh, I, I, I was aware of him just because his presence on the internet is kind of hard to avoid. Uh, I, I think he's been big 
I think he's been growing for a while. You know, it, it wasn't just recently. Although I, I agree, it's. I feel like, like I just last, heard about him. Yeah. In the last year, it seems like he's really just everywhere. Well, hold on. His oldest. Vi- I don't know if he erased, but his oldest video is from one year ago. He must have erased. I'm looking at his social blade for that channel right now, and it was created in 2014. Um, mm. So uh, the the at least the channel's been around for a lot longer than that. Around Bro. this time last year, he had just over two million subs. Wow! Wow! So, so in one year's time, he's gained 21 million subbies. Right. So the guy, he's apparently this Minecraft savant who's been like breaking records and doing all this crazy shit. But like, what's interesting to me is that. He's been accused of cheating quite a bit. And he's gotten into fu- There's like, it reminds me of the King of Kong. You know, this documentary where. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Pretty similar. It's, it's like all these people get into it about uh, Donkey Kong, who has the top record. Someone's accused of cheating. It's all this so dramatic, but it's so entertaining. So love has been a, in a dispute with the Minecraft mods. Do you just you just said love has been in it. Dream. Yeah. <laughs> love, what do you say? I said let's say love. I didn't realize you were involved. Yeah, I haven't shitted in Minecraft as far as I know. Uh, that's ex- that, that's, that's exactly literally what, what Dream, Dream said. said as well. What's with this yeah. screen? What is with love screen? What's with Yeah. Oh, the sun just, is oh, oh, flare. Yeah. my eyes. There you go. <laughs> okay. So, um he's been accused of cheating by like the mods, okay, of the speed run website and he and then he even he went so as far to prove that he's not cheating is that he hired some ma- harvard mathematician to write stealing proofs it. about how he's not stealing, he's stealing it. and and it's boiled up to the point where dude here let, let me it's it's i cannot believe the drama of all this let me f- show you guys first of all some of Dream's world records, because I don't even know what the fuck it, this shit is. <laughs> well, it's not a world. It's not a world record, but what does it mean to speed run Minecraft? Well, Minecraft has a yeah. has a, an end. There's right. A, I guess a when final I played boss the... of it and stuff. Oh I mean, most God. people play it in a very kind of just like open way, where you just kind of do whatever you want. But um, but there is there is an actual game to it. Well, when I was playing, there was no game, but I guess now they added shit where like there's a uh, you have to get to the Ender Dragon and kill the Ender Dragon. Right. Yeah, and, and that, so, it's, so that's it's a speed run to do that. Okay, I see. So, um, wow, well, yeah, here it is. Let's watch the big moment. He's gonna take on that Ender Dragon, boys. Crafting, uh, picking. Yes, let's get it. Mm. Exciting stuff. Mm. We got a stone axe on deck. Let's go. I guess this video is really long. Here, I want. I want to yeah, we it. had a timestamp to the end. I'm not sure uh, what happened to that. It's just kind of chaotic. I feel bad for feeling. Bu- Yeah, there you go. That was the end right there. Oh, he just dynamited him or something? Yeah, he's using some, like, exploit, me- you know, like most speedruns. <laughs> Let's go! Okay. You gotta hear what he says right here, though. Oh, really? Yeah. Knowing what we know now. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Oh my god, I am so happy, but I am so mad. Dude, oh, that would have been world record. That could have been world record. I had insane luck. Oh my god! You had insane I was luck in that room at like twelve minutes, dude. If we t- if I took the same time on the end that that just took just then, that okay. So he says insane luck. So these mods have been crunching the numbers, being like the the amount of luck you get is impossible. In in short, like in a in a random number generated world, it's 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 uh, impossible. Here's a video of them calling him out. Here. Let's see. Let's take a look at Dream's odds. This isn't exactly a good look. Across six streams, Dream bartered 262 times and got 42 pearl trades, which when plugged into the formula comes in at 1 in 177 billion. 
So these guys crunch the numbers. They're like, this is is, 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 is mathematically impossible. And then Dream, instead of being like, yo, you guys got me or whatever, he goes out of his way. He like wages war on these mods. that are like these small community mods. He accuses them of like lying and trying to, to like defame him and shit. I mean, cloud, they're cloud chasers. Just like, clou- yeah. just like anybody who says anything about anybody on the internet. Okay, let's see. Here's a tweet cloud. about it. My 1.16 run was just rejected after research due to it being too unlikely to verify. The video was made by a head mod and YouTuber GeoSquare using my name and clickbaiting. Che- bro, look, he's so def- In bro. order to get easy views. He's literally calling him a cloud chaser. <laughs> Let's go! The problem is with this talking about this dream guy is that he has like very scary dedicated fans, bro. This is like some this is like giving me flashbacks to BTS. <laughs> this is, you don't want to ever cross dream fans, bro. I mean, yeah. the dream Hell fans yeah. are the dream fans are uh, pretty intense, but uh, it's <clears throat> nothing compared to the army. Still, so. oh really? Okay, I mean, that's good. Yeah, army strong. Love BTS, by the way. Heart. No! We love BTS, bro. Never die. Never surrender. BTS. <laughs> BTS forever. Oh my god. But anyway, yes. this guy YouTuber GeoSquare, who now he's shitting on. He's a small time YouTuber, as he said. Using my name to get easy views. Definitely a response to a total B- BS. Currently have multiple mods messaging me that they believe the verdict was biased. And they might quit the mod team. What kind of investigation was this? Well, anyway, of course these guys were right. The, as he showed, it was like a 1 in 77 billion chance that he would get so lucky on his speed runs to get like the shit he gets. And um, this guy was so dedicated to proving his innocence. He had a Minecraft statistician or a, a, a Harvard statistician Right, an extract. Look at this shit, bro. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> How is this not King of Kong shit? This is it a 17 is. page. I think even longer. I think it's like 19 pages. Something like that. King Kong ain't got shit. What is this report? This report is a discussion of Minecraft speed or a dream who during live stream was speed running attempts on the Minecraft 1.16 random seed glitches experienced very low probability events over seemingly specific lengths of time. Extremely rare events pique our interest and we can requ- and we can require an explanation, e.g. the purpose of deciding whether dream speed runs are eligible for official leaderboards. So we hired this guy, commissioned him, wrote this whole scientific it's got you know. graphs and shit. And he's like, I was like, the fuck is deep. this, bro? This has got to be a documentary. This is some King of Kong shit for <laughs> sure. Look at this. Section 6.1. Binomial distribution for blaze rod drops. 6.2. Probability evaluations for elder elder pearls. Ender pearls. I can now calculate the probability of receiving the number of successful trades of Dream 6 streams in question. I was like, whoa, bro, this is insane. Blaze Rod probability. We got Hell curves. Yeah. Hell yeah! We got Ender Pearl boost amount versus Ender Pearl uh, plot by photo execute. Uh, I don't know, bro. Let's but just, go! I mean, look at this. Have you? I've never seen video games taken to this level before. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> so at any rate, God, I mean, wow, this, this is insane. We got maths and everything, man. So here you go. Okay. Now it comes out that apparently people started calling into question this scientist who we hired. This is an astrophysicist that graduated from Harvard to prove that he didn't cheat in a 19 page report detailing why he didn't cheat and why the accusations of GeoSquare was wrong. Here's Dream talking about why he hired this astrophysicist. This is amazing stuff, you guys. Come on. Even if you're not into Minecraft, which I'm not at all. This yeah, is me neither, but this story is just so a good. A professor with a PhD that graduated from Harvard that's actually a practicing astrophysicist that is an expert in statistics and astrostatistics. After reaching out to this expert, he insisted that if he was going to do this analysis, that I must agree to release his findings regardless of if they made me look good or they made me look bad. Knowing that I'm innocent, I agreed. The mod team is a group of respectable people, but they're also young and a group of volunteers, so it's hard to fault them for making mistakes when compared to a full-time professional with a specific expertise in a field like this. After extensive research into the mod's math and the logic and reasoning behind this math, the expert found that the math was off. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, now people are going over this astrophysicist's math and being like, yo, you made a bunch of errors. And then when this guy started getting heat from people, apparently he just disappeared, right? He dipped. 
he just was like, uh, bro, what did you get me into? <laughs> Which is kind of what I'm wondering what I'm getting myself into right now. Oh, yeah, now. yeah. Leave Dream alone! So these are the small-time mods who he's shitting on and calling liars, by the way. Minecraft speedrun. This, you know, they've got, let's see, 4,500 followers on Twitter, you know. That he's beefing with this guy with 23 million subs. Right. Following the report released by Photo Execu Excitation that was commissioned by Dream, numerous qualified sources have examined the math and found considerable flaws both in the method methodology and accuracy of calculations. Our team has compiled a short response addressing the claims and the critique. This response attempts to clarify our original statement as well as critique the math in the report. We continue to stand by the conclusion that there is no feasible, legitimate way Dream experienced his rates in the October uh, 16 speedrun attempt. Amazing. Uh, amazing. Look at the top comments, by the way. Top comment is, Dream did not cheat. Not because of his position, but statistically possible speaking, there's always a chance. There's always a chance. Defense. There's no such thing as a coincidence. Yeah, I mean, I know that. What's the chance that Trisha was in a photo with both those people? There's always a chance. There's no such thing as a coincidence. I love this, like, this, like, 15-year-old is trying to do, like, uh, He's trying to argue with like mathematicians, <laughs> bro. There's always a chance. <laughs> if we use the lottery, for example, the chances are are absolutely slim. But there are so many different probs, probabilities. But it isn't impossible. Here's another one. Jesus, you got to leave him alone. Let him have his fucking speed run. No feasible ways. Basically saying impossible. Yeah. So there you have it. Now, I don't know what exactly prompted Dream to put this out, but now he recently just fessed up to it. He made a statement being like, yeah, I fucking cheated. What prompted him to do that? Do you know? That's a good question. I guess maybe just mounting pressure from people pointing out that all of his arguments don't make any sense. I mean, in retrospect, you know, now that we know that he did cheat and that these mods were right, I mean, it was... Of course he cheated. Like they said, it was like a 1 in 17 billion chance that <laughs> this happened. It's like, I'll tell you, it's so obvious to people that understand the games if things are appearing like way too... St you know, there's a really interesting story. I used to play a lot of poker in college, and there was people playing poker who had super admin access. And these guys who play poker on a high level are like brilliant mathematicians. And they started noticing like, this guy is winning way too often and something doesn't add up so they started crunching this random person's numbers they would play they would sit at the table with him and and then analyze his hands over like ten thousand hands and they could show very clearly on a chart that the 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 amount of hands he was winning and the plays he was doing compared to other pros was like way off the charts like huh. anomical and that's how they caught this guy it was like this huge scandal back in the 2000s that somebody from like the poker stars team was fucking playing high level poker with the super admin account and that. these mathematicians this is what they did with dreams run it's just dream is this guy right the king of kong guy yeah you gotta watch the king of kong that bro I, this needs to be a documentary <laughs> Well, yeah. Dream, Dream does, is anonymous. He doesn't show his face, so I don't know. You wouldn't be able to involve King him, I guess. This was the villain from King of Kong. He had all the records, and it turns out he got, like, all of his score scrubbed for cheating, so. You know. I cannot find my fucking cursor. Okay. So, for some reason, he put out this statement and then immediately deleted it. Like, this guy is just kind of... Bro, I don't, I don't understand this, dude. <laughs> Basically, he says, it's a really long post. And kind of, I when I first read this, I thought it was, like, a ironic. I was like, is this motherfucker serious? Like, I feel this is something important to talk about. I've been very withheld for a while about it and just decided I'd probably be best just let it out so I can feel relaxed a little more. This will be a very long read. Yada, yada. Oh, he goes, I'm writing this in my bathtub at 4 a.m. on my phone, so forgive my mistakes. <laughs> He wrote this on his phone? Come on. You expect me to believe you wrote this on your phone? In his bathtub, like candle lit? You cheated on your speed run. I don't believe anything he says now. <laughs> Back in November, 
2020. I, for the first time since 1.16 had released, I decided to try a speed run and get a decent time. My goal was to get faster than 25 minutes, which was a pretty good time and fairly obtainable. Yada, yada, yada. Well, his, his exp- it's so fucking long, you guys. Yeah, we definitely don't need to read the whole thing. But what he what he ends up fessing up to is that he does have a mod installed, and uh, yeah, that changed the drop rates, just like everybody had said from the beginning. And he said, "Oh, I didn't know." He's like, "I just," he said, "I just changed the drop rates because it would save me time from having to start new games every time." Well, specifically, to 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 give his argument a fair shake, what he's saying is that he didn't think the mod that he had installed affected the speed run. So he knew it was installed, but he had it installed for his other content. Because he doesn't just do speed running, he's just like a general. I'm sorry, but if you understand a game as good as he does, you understand. Absolutely. I think he's full of shit. But this is just, this is what he's saying, is that... Like, it's so, if he has this mod installed to make these rare items drop way more common, it's so obvious when you're playing and it's working or not. Yeah. Come on, dude. (laughs) Yeah. So obvious. Well, he's just getting lucky. That's what he said in the at the end. I got so lucky. You know, it's funny. And then he gets in an argument with all these people where they're like, there's no possible way to get that lucky. And he's like, I don't know. There's a, what there's are you a chance. Talking about? There's always a chance. Hell yeah. You Hell know, yeah! I had a I had a physics teacher <laughs> in college. He goes, You know, there's a chance that you could just fall through the earth because the molecules just align. It's like a one in a billion <laughs> chance, but there's a chance. So Anything's no possible. Such thing as a coincidence. Right. I wish I had some choice passages from this. Was there anything funny worth talking about in this? Uh, the the fact that he was writing in the bathtub <laughs> is probably the funniest part. At 4 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Dick in hand. Yep. Hey guys, I just beat off a quick one and I'm feeling really relaxed, soaking in my own filth. I'm typing this on my cell phone, so please. Ooh, baby. No, 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 no. There is kind of a fanfic about Dream, even though it doesn't show his face. He's got, like, that corpse husband thing where they go, I'm soaking in a bathtub. Oh, God. I just wiped, I just cleaned my ass. I don't ever, I'm in the bathtub sitting in poop and jizz. By candlelight. Oh, yeah. (laughs) So, anyway, I just thought it I thought the whole story arc was super interesting how... He, like, hired this mathematician, relentlessly attacked these poor mods who were right in the end. Right, it's worth noting, too, that, and I won't necessarily put this on him, but we were alluding to his rabid fan base. This was part of it, is that those mods were getting, like, just horrible death threats and shit sent to them by, you know, his supporters and everything, because... Yeah, and they were right, those poor guys. So you would think that his fans would be pissed, like, oh my god, we defended you, and you cheated this whole time after all this back and forth and drama. Here's the, here's the, if I'm being honest, I don't care you cheated. I like watching your content for fun, and many other people do. I like you said you were never a professional speedrunner. You only did it for fun. Bro, you hired a mathematician. What's fun about that? You literally went and bought hard and made this whole hubbub about how you got a Harvard educated PhD to write a dissertation. I need that clout. That guy could have been working on something important and he's writing papers about speed runs that were faked. You know what I mean? We don't have very much PhD phys- physicians, physicians, phys- physicians, <laughs> physics, physicians. Physi- in the, physicists. physicists in the world. Yeah. You want them fucking... <laughs> People go, this is what I've been trying to explain. You're getting so much hate over a block game. Bro, you're the one that hired the, the, the physicist. <laughs> He's like, I need Albert. He like put together his own like uh, Manhattan project to prove he wasn't cheating. <laughs> right. I need all the biggest brains in the world to prove that these mods of a 4,500 follower Twitter account are lying about me. I can't believe people are so upset over Minecraft. Well, I'm with him there. Now you're living. But basically they're like, oh, it's just a misunderstanding. We love you. I don't care about Dream, though. I think it was weird. Billy Mitchell vibes. Right. <laughs> 
Yeah, so he erased his apology that he he wrote at 4 a.m. in a pool of in a bathtub of his own jizz. Yeah. And then he goes, I, this guy, li- I don't know, this guy must be a pathological liar or something, because this sh- nothing he says makes sense. Like, guys, use your brain. He goes, pay spin I posted the other day was removed by staff. No, it wasn't. Yeah, that's not a thing. I just, come on, dude. You don't have to lie to kick it, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I deleted the tweet. So annoying. Okay, bro. Sure. So annoying. The paste bin mods deleted your post. No, they didn't. So repost it. This guy lies about everything. (laughs) I'm telling you. I can tell. And then he talked about it in a video. Here he is. When I you when know, I saw this video, this things. is where I fully turned on him. I was just oh like, really? Well, just hear what he said. Okay, so this is him addressing the whole controversy after the fact. Um, HBO, please pick this up. <laughs> it, it'd be a whole different story if I was like, you know, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be. I feel like it's one of those situations where communication was the biggest flaw. I guess communication, miscommunication. Bad communicate, poor communication between me and the mod team, poor communication between me and the dev, and then just emotions, I guess. Um, you know, I had, I had, uh, you know, I had huge emotions. The mod team had huge emotions. Um, the public had huge emotions. You know, my fans had huge emotions. It was just like this shit fest of everybody being hugely emotional. And um, what is hugely emotional? And, I've yeah, never heard that so expressed that way before. I've never heard uh, the problem was I was lying expressed as I miscommunicated. Yeah. Well, but yeah, that, that's one way to put it. Yeah. I guess mis- you know, a lie is a miscommunication in a way. So he's like, bro, oh, oh, I was cheating the whole time. I forgot. <laughs> totally misunderstood. I, 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 I miscommunicate. When I said, when I said that, you're full of shit. I didn't cheat. I, I misspoke. I misspoke. He's like, but they I, miscommunicated is, too. It was a whole yeah, communication like, breakdown. It, you know, everybody's kind of at fault here, right? Minecraft. A lot of blame to go around on this in this whole situation. I just find it so ironic that his fans are now like, why is everyone getting heated over Minecraft? But that's his whole life. He's the guy who's He's like the Minecraft, the Minecraft guy. guy. Yeah. Hell yeah. You want him to Hell take yeah. it seriously or not? Right. And like, Look, play that again, Zach. Yeah, that's him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah! What are we talking about? <laughs> he sounds pretty hyped. He sounds like he's pretty into it. Let's go! <laughs> right. <laughs> Basically, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it's one of those things where it's just, I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a shitty situation, regardless. <laughs> Stream the Elmo game right now. Nah. Uh, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll wait. I'll see, I'll see what Donkey says. I'll see what Donkey says. Oh, Donkey made uh, a video about him slamming him. <laughs> I could slammed him. <laughs> Donkey? <laughs> I, can't, I can never tell if Donkey's actually being serious or not, but his video was so funny. You know, I, I was watching the whole thing waiting for the bait and switch because oftentimes he'll kind of troll with that right. kind of stuff. And then the video just ends with Dream's a fucking moron. Yeah. He sucks. And yeah, just, like, Donkey actually video. just shit on Dream. Like, okay. It was awesome. <laughs> um, it was short, too. I kind of want to watch it. But yeah, no. I mean, I think people at this point... Uh, people made up their mind either way. Like people are acting like this, like this, like made this monumental thing. And you just said you cheated, bro. <laughs> made up their mind. It's just, you confess. Well, I Let's guess go. he means, do you buy my excuse that I didn't know I was cheating right, or right, not? Right, 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 right. Me, a professional <laughs> Minecraft player that's dedicated my whole life to Minecraft. Didn't know. I'm unaware they're, of the they're, they're like basic that's like, mechanics. That's like an MLB, game. like a baseball player being like, I swear to God, I didn't know the bat was corked. I was just using a bat. Right. It felt the same. It's like, bro, the bat feels very different when it's corked. And you're a professional player. You know that. Shut the fuck up. You just lied about paste bin removing your post. That didn't happen. Right. And the whole thing was that this it, he he got lucky over the course of six videos. So it's right. like, yeah, you have one time where it's like, holy shit, I'm just getting God rolls right now. Everything's going my way. Sure. But when you do it six times in a row and your entire life is Minecraft, you know something's off after after even two times in a row. So no. don't you get what you fucking deserve? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. I just want to watch this documentary so bad. It would be ah, so ah, good. Ah, ah, ah. Especially if we get Dunkin' to narrate it. Running a misinformation campaign in order to try and... Like, be like, oh, Dream, Dream, you know, needs to get taken down. Like, he, he cheated in his, his man hunts. He cheated in his speed runs. He cheated uh, in all uh, of them. He cheated uh, in everything. Uh. It's like, even if you, even if you say 
um, even if you want to believe that I intentionally cheated on the one 1 1.16 submitted run on Twitch, um, which I didn't, but if you want to believe that I did, that's fine. Okay. But don't try and discredit my accomplishments or my YouTube channel for something that wasn't on my YouTube channel, was never uploaded on my YouTube channel. Ah. Never had anything How to do with my YouTube channel. Relevant? Was never posted on my. This guy's a cheater, bro. <laughs> How is that he relevant? He lies and cheats. I don't know anything about him. Please don't hang. Please don't kill me, Dream fans. Just listen <laughs> to what I'm saying. The pace spins a story. You know that's bullshit. I'm sorry. The mods don't care. Explain to me one rationale where this pace spin mods delete his post for no fucking reason. Doesn't happen. Oh my gosh! Yes. Here, you want to watch Donkey's video about this? And I have to say, I don't know anything about Minecraft. I really need to... F I'm just captivated by the story. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'm i not a Minecraft player myself, and but it, it's just... It, it's Shakespearean, I, bro. Yeah, exactly. It's like it, this fall from grace. You can't help but uh, be taken in by it. So this video is called Taking Back My Apology to Dream. I don't know. I guess did they have some kind of beef? Yeah, or? he had made. He explains in this video that he had previously made a video calling him a cheater, and then he made another video apologizing to Dream, and now this video is his retraction of his apology. I love Dream. Donkey. Yeah, legend shit. What the fuck does clip mean? Is this a new feature? <laughs> yeah. Oh, is this on every video? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Much? Yeah. Huh. Dream cheat. I think it's owned for gaming shows. Oh, for real? Oh, yeah. They, it's their oh. comp competing with the Twitch clips thing. Okay, here we go. Well, can't believe I'm actually saying this, but. Can you turn it up? Dream cheated, you guys. This is such a horrific day for the Minecraft community, for people that are out of the loop on the Dream drama. Five months ago, the famous speedrunner Dream got caught cheating in his speedrun, so I made a video called Minecraft Speedrunner Dream Busted for Cheating Drama, but then <laughs> Dream put out a video proving, and notice how proving is in quotation marks there, he put out a video proving he didn't cheat, so then the whole internet flipped to being back on Dream's side, so I had to make an apology video to Dream, otherwise my channel could have been cancelled. Well, turns out that apology video was a huge waste of my time because Dream really did cheat. Yep. Just yesterday, Dream admitted on Twitter that he cheated in his speedrun. Hey guys, Dream here. I'm writing this 10 page document in my bath at 4am on my phone. Blah blah blah, bunch of dumb shit. Turns out <laughs> I actually did have cheat codes on. Whoopsie daisy, son of a bitch. Now, you guys know how big of a Dream fan I am, so to see this five months after defending this guy tirelessly from all the trolls and all the non-believers, and then turns out he actually was cheating this whole time, I, I just, I, you know what? I'm not a Dream fan anymore. Yeah, I said it. I'm not a Dream fan anymore. I am so sick of this guy lying to his fans, distorting the truth, sending all of his fans on a witch hunt against me. And then to top it all off, he actually cheated this entire time. And you know what game he cheated at? Minecraft. Yeah, <laughs> let that sink in. Dream cheated at Minecraft, a game designed for five-year-olds. Seriously, all you do in this game is hit dirt with a pickaxe and eat chicken, and Dream had to cheat at that? Children can beat this game. But Dream, the supposed master of Minecraft, he had to cheat at a game that children can beat. It is absolutely pathetic. Dream, how about this? Speedrun an actual video game that people speedrun, like Mario 64. Oh wait, you actually have to be good at video games to speedrun Mario 64, never mind. Also, there's no cheats for Mario 64, so I guess you could never ever speedrun that one. Here's a game for you to speedrun, Dream, Elmo's Letter Adventure. Your fans would love this game. Oh wait, you actually have to know the entire alphabet to speedrun this game. <laughs> Dream, you could speedrun Pokemon, but you'll di probably die instead. So there it is, everybody. The Mods were right, Dream cheated, and I'm gonna be honest here, my apology video, I was actually being sarcastic that entire time. <laughs> yep, I knew he cheated all along. Dream, you blew it, you embarrassed yourself, and you ruined Minecraft for everyone. I can no longer play Minecraft because of you, because you are such a horrible person. Every time I see the Enderman, all I can think about is when Dream's career ended because he cheated. So there it is everybody, Dream sucks, we all hate Dream now, he is a moron, he is terrible at video games, 
and I am really hoping that I don't have to do another apology video after this because I would look really stupid now if I had to do another one. Yeah, there was no twist. <laughs> yep. It's usually irony. Uh, he sucks. He's a moron. Mm, we don't like dream folks. Yep. <sighs> All right, we uh we got to go to break. Oh shit, okay. All right, let's go to break. Thank you, Bespoke Post, for sponsoring us. After spending last summer on the sidelines, we're all ready to get back out there and make this year's lounge season an epic one. So Bespoke Post is here to make your sand, sun, and surf game to the next level with a new lineup of must-have boxes of awesome collections for you guys. Now, we actually picked out a box of awesome. It was a... Caprese salad kit. Yeah. And they send it in a way where it's like you you get the basil and then they send you shit to like make your own mozzarella cheese, bro. Yeah, it's a basil plant. It's a, yeah, exactly. It's like the whole thing. They send you the plant. They go they send you the cheesecloth. So all of a sudden, you're out here like a fucking mad scientist making your own bomb ass caprese. We did that in the office. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. I, I got some pubes in it on accident, so nobody wanted to eat that it. That didn't happen. I was the only one that ate it, but it tasted really good. Didn't happen. No, it was amazing. But they, they've they got a ton of, like, awesome collections for you guys to choose from. You choose your, your favorite one, you just have a great time. Bespoke Post only sends you guys the best stuff every month, no matter what you're into. They've got a box of awesome that has you covered. From breezy summer styles and grooming goods to travel and outdoor gear, Box of Awesome has collections for every part of your life. Get started taking the quiz at boxofawesome.com and your answer will help them pick the right Box of Awesome for you. They release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel anytime. Each box costs only 45 bucks, but it's got $70 worth of gear inside. So if you guys want to sign up and spice up your summer and have a fun time with that box of awesome you get 20 percent off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com use code h3 for 20 percent off your first box thank you when it comes to paying off debt it can keep feeling like an uphill battle you've got high interest rates resulting in a minimum monthly payment that keeps you in an endless cycle of debt but upstart can help you get ahead Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple fixed month payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart looks at more than just your credit score, like your income, employment history. This means they can offer smarter rates with trusted partners. With a five minute online rate check, you can see a rate upfront for loans between $1,000 to $50,000, and you're gonna receive the funds as fast as one business day after your loan is accepted. So if you wanna find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today, go to upstart.com slash h3. That's upstart.com slash h3. And don't forget to use our URL to let them know that we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. That's upstart.com slash h3. All right, we're back, and we have a caller, right, Dan? Yeah, I've actually, uh, somebody, uh, one of the mods from the speedrunning community uh, reached out to me via... Oh, no way. Yeah, it, via Discord, and said that, um, and said that they wanted to come on and talk about this whole dream situation. Oh, cool. So. Okay, so I'd love to hear his thoughts on it, because he would know better than anyone. Minecraft! Okay. You know about Minecraft, Joe? Yeah, looky here, fatso. I, Stop I, I it! Why, is he always, why do I bring That's him so in rude. to berate me? What did I, I do to you, it, Joe? I voted for you. Joe, but I love him, man. Up. I got myself a diamond pickaxe. Dug my way into a world record. Full diamond armor, too. Hand to God. And okay. to God, on my boy Hunter's server, you know Hunter, he's a real, he's a real, he's had a real rough go of it. Okay, some dog-haired okay. pony soldier came in, burned my village down. Okay, I sent the <laughs> service after him, burned his house down in real life. Whoa! Guys in jail for life, man. <laughs> Got his parents Biden. audited by the IRS too, just a perk of being president. 
don't grief my Minecraft, you dingbag guano breath dirt eater. Oh, what, what the, the hell? Jesus. Jo- okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Joe popped so up. So just to be clear, Joe, you're accusing, s- you literally ruined a griefer's life for burning down your Minecraft village? That seems like an overreaction. Yeah, ruined his life, man. I don't have time for griefy, <laughs> griefies. Yeah, so, what, okay, but do you think Dream faked his speed run? I mean, what, what are your thoughts on that? Look, man, you say this guy's a speed runner. Well, I used to skip down to the horse paddy with old Bubble Ross and Shrimp Boys and Harvest Moon Here barn burner. And there was this fella, Soap Shoes, a good man. He used to tail whip and tumbleweed faster than Pico. Right, Joe, Spit wait. He's doing Pan this again where he just rambles. No, Joe, Joe, we're talking about um, Dream. You yeah. know the speed runner? That's why you called in, right? Yeah, he could crack a fizzy, lift and drink. That would even send Jimmy Hines up to Grizzlies Creek. Mac, believe me, man, nah, that's running with speed. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, mine. Oh, my mine. Kampf. What? Oh, look. Look, all I, right. Cut no, not, not cut my cough, man. Craft. My Just craft. Drop the call. Okay. Just, all right. All right. Sorry about that. Joe, uh, that guy does not. It's hard to keep him on topic. It's a little, yeah. He's getting longer than the two, bro. I don't know what that is. <laughs> mine conf? Why did he say mine? Oh, it kind of sounds like Minecraft. Minecraft? Mine <laughs> conf? I, 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 he's a little hard of hearing. He's, he, he's, he's getting up there in the age. Let's not take his calls anymore. I know he's president, but this is like just derailing the show. Okay. I know it's off the rails, but. That's a little too off the rails. A little too off the rails. Okay. Okay. Copy that. Up. All right. And now, last week we did, um, what did we do last week? We did... Uh, Things that piss us off. Right. That's grinding our did. gears. Yeah. So we're coming at you today with another roundtable conversation coming at you. True unpopular opinion. Now, I challenge you guys to actually present me with a truly unpopular opinion. I think I have an unpopular opinion that is truly unpopular to the point that I don't think I've ever met another person that even agrees with me. Hmm. Really? I'm going to kick it off. Okay. Let's hear it. What you got? You guys, I I get a lot of hate for this, so please don't get mad. I'm just, I'm just being honest. I fucking think pasta sucks. What? Pasta as a dish sucks. Does anyone agree with me? Exactly. Shame. This is a true unpopular Shame. opinion, but trust me, this is a well-sourced Shame. opinion. Let me tell you about pasta. First of all, every noodle is this fucking same shit. They got all these fancy noodles with the swirls and the knots and the bows and the and the, the spaghetti. It's all it, it's all the same. It all tastes the same. I don't care how you cut it. First of all, Shame. okay. Second of all, you want to talk about calories? Pasta is one of the most unhealthy things you can eat. It's not worth the calories. I'd rather eat something else. You give me a pasta, you, a bowl of like bleached carbs, you know, simple carbs. You might as well just eat a loaf of bread with butter. I mean, what the fuck? That's good too. That is good, but I want to eat Shame. that for dinner and be like, all good. Shame. That's what you're doing when you eat pasta, butter well, noodles. Well, eat just buttered noodles. People do that, but I, pasta's yeah, I'm just well as aware. Bad. It's just as bad. It's like, oh, I boiled some noodles and I put cream on it. Oh, I boiled some noodles and I put butter on it. Oh, I boiled some noodles and put marinara on it. It's like, bro, give me a break. What? I'm just saying, like, you eat a whole bowl of pasta, you're gonna, you're clocking a lot of calories. I'd rather have a hamburger, a burrito. You know what I'm saying? It's this just is, not worth it. This is anti-Italian discrimination. Okay, fuck it. Didn't fuck you have Italian, an anti? Wait, yeah, yeah, didn't you have an anti-Italian opinion last week too? I was just talking about what did I say about the Italians? What was the thing about the attack? Oh, it was Rado. the video of the people uh, kissing or whatever. Oh, oh but- hey, hey, I was just trying to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. Hmm. I got nothing against the Italians. Listen, oh, God. Fredo, I know it was what you, I Alfredo. Done? I have no one to blame but myself for this. I know it was you, Alfredo. You ate the pasta off my dinner table. I wish I could say I was upset, but I didn't want it anyway. I know it was you, Fredo. I know it was you, Alfredo. That's what I'm saying. This is a true unpopular opinion. Yeah, no, that's a pretty solid one. I don't... <laughs> Wait, I'm not done! Oh, Jesus. Homemade pasta. You know, everyone goes, oh, you gotta try homemade pasta. You gotta go, oh, you gotta go to a nice Italian where they homemade... It's all it's, it's bullshit. I've tried the homemade pasta. I've done all the fancy shit. I've tried it all. It's still the same shit. It's literally fucking flour and, like, water and sometimes eggs. Boiled. I get it. What about like a big ziti or something like that? 
I'm gonna go. So I like. Okay, I'm gonna do a little carve out for like. I'm not there though. Like, ra- I'm just not there. Like lasagna, that's interesting because the lasagna it's that's a pasta. little. That's a pasta. That's no, pasta. The, I, that's a I, pasta. A tip. I give an honorable mention to lasagna. Because it does so much more. It's still possible. You got the layer. That's I'm a- giving. I'm just carving out in one except possible exception. You know, you pissed off Trisha because butter noodles is like her favorite dish. Uh, yeah. Well. She, oh insane. wait a minute! I know what this is about. Hmm. Trisha won that cooking competition. Uh, I'm not done. Oh uh, uh, yeah. I'm not done. No, Keep awing no, and owing over there. I just realized. But at least with us, with at least with um. Lasagna, it's like there's like the sauce and the meat and the layers are all and the basil. That, that's, that's those are all things great. that could be on pasta. Yeah. 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 No. Customize it. No, Cheap. it's affordable. Pie, dude. It's oh. interesting. Fuck. Stop it. But yeah, I'll fucking, I'll throw a lasagna out too. Fuck that shit. It's all bullshit to me. Wow. Okay. I'm not done. Shame. You, then you gotta go, oh, you gotta go to a nice restaurant and get fancy pasta. When you try fancy pasta, it's usually just weird. Like, they put too much wine in it, and it's, like, tart and weird. It's just, you know, it, the harder you try, the worse it is. And then with pasta, you go to a restaurant, you order pasta, the portions are insane. It's either way too much or way too little. You get a nice gnocchi dish or ravio- ravioli. You ever order ravioli? They give you, like, three fucking raviolis. Don't lie to me. Don't you fucking lie to me. You more. ordered pasta and got three raviolis. Yeah, no, no, no. And that is a disappointing. But Thank it, you. But oftentimes, but I mean, that that the portion is a determination of the restaurant. It's not the fault of Stop. pasta. And then you, you ever ordered, the you ever ordered like a nice gnocchi dish? So they're like, here's five gnocchis. I'm like, I'm sorry. That's the only pasta like passably interesting gnocchi. And you're going to give me five of them? How about that, you eat shit? Is that technically, I don't know if that. It's uh, a pasta. Is it? This uh, whole conversation just making me want pasta. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why, yeah. Dude, I, I'm not Man, saying don't eat pasta. Italian do whatever today. the fuck. Hey, listen. This is my opinion. This is my corner. You can do whatever you want over there and eat pasta. I don't care. Yellow loves pasta too, eh? I don't hate. Just saying. I think it's bullshit. You know. So it's like, it's either too much. You go to one of these shitty Italian places. They give you, oh, oh you want a noodle fettuccine? Here's a whole lifetime supply of dog shit noodles just with drenched in heavy cream. No. Pasta is overrated. It's not that good. And worst of all, my biggest complaint is that for the calories, because it is very rich, unhealthy meal, there are much more fun, enjoyable foods. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. You see, that's a real unpopular opinion. I dare you guys. I dare you guys to try to share something that vulnerable. Uh... I think it's because my dad, the only time I ever ate pasta as a child, my dad, he has this dish, I swear to God. Tell me if you've ever heard of this, because I doubt you have. He calls it burnt onion pasta. <laughs> no. It's something his gra- his mom made him, apparently. Okay. He would take onions, put it in a grill, and then literally burn them black, charred. Okay. Like burnt, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then he'd throw in some noodles with uh, like oil, olive oil, and then that was it. Burn. And I was, I think that traumatized me, maybe. I don't know. Not yeah, I mean, that sounds disgusting, but um, but I wouldn't hold that against Thank you. Pasta. I guarantee one person watching will not even agree with me. So thank you. That's unpopular. Next, Dan, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have a whole list here. Like, I felt like AB last week with the uh, things that piss him off. Like, I struggled on that one. But as far as unpopular opinions, uh, I was able to come up with a bunch. But I don't know if any of these come anywhere close to just a blanket fuck pasta state Try. that's that's insane thank you i'm out here uh what's probably the people uh i i don't think that everybody should necessarily you know you can make your own uh, food choices in life uh you know uh, i've been a vegetarian for about a decade now um and uh, you know that's a personal choice and i don't try and impose it on other people however Love, are you trying to look at Dan from your perspective? Because <laughs> I know that's not where you see Dan. It's funny. Yeah, I was trying to do that. Too. <laughs> uh, people should not eat pigs. It's completely fucked up. Pigs mm. are practically sentient creatures. They are. There was a study in 2019 that they are the only animals more intelligent than pigs are elephants, chimps, and dolphins. <laughs> They're literally the fourth most intelligent animal other than human beings. They're far more intelligent than cats and dogs, which we find abhorrent in this country to eat. 
mm. and we uh, harvest them on an industrial scale. Um, <laughs> it's really fucked up, and I love pigs, and uh, you shouldn't eat them. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> <laughs> I know guess what? the Muslim world will agree. Uh, well, in Judaism, I'm with you on too. You know what, Dan? As I don't eat that much pork. I eat, like, I don't, but, but I, as a, someone who does eat pork, I completely agree. I think it's, I think all animals... Yeah, and again, I mean, I I, but, I don't eat any animal, but um, you know, uh, I, I'm not going to try and shove that down people's throat. But we are doing an unpopular opinion segment here, okay? No, I think and you're if, right. And if there's one animal that is commonly served in food everywhere you go, that uh, I really, you know, really bothers me the most, it's it's pigs. You shouldn't eat pigs, people. It's they're 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 self aware. Like it's it's fucked up. Yeah, and I've seen shit. some of those those pig farms are just absolutely yeah, horrendous. It's, it's just it's like an inhuman. Yeah. It's inhuman. It, it's literally inhuman. Yeah. <laughs> hey, so you're again, taking I, a victory lap you know, over there? I don't know if that's that's probably not as unpopular as uh but you know, that people are so hardcore about their bacon and their ham and everything. Like people that love So get, do you th you think eating cow pork, eating they is love less, it. You think cow eating is less severe than pork eating? I mean it's hard to rate these things because, I mean, how do we really know what's going on in the minds of these creatures? I, I don't think, I, I don't think you should eat cows either. But the the pig one, it, it just it, it just always really gets me on an extra level. Again, just because of the the level of their, uh, yeah, I mean, like we we so, you know people have their interactions and their uh, their um, love for their dogs. And so pets. Dan, are you saying if I meet a really dumb human, I can eat him? Uh, no, you probably shouldn't do that either. And again, I don't, I don't eat any animal. So the dumber they are, the more I should eat of them. <laughs> it's just when it comes to the level of suffering that they're enduring, uh, you know, <laughs> a, a level of uh, self-awareness, it does seem to, um, does seem to make that suffering, uh, twinge me a little bit. I'm with yeah. you. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'm, I'm doing the so Socratic method here. I'm trying to challenge you on all your beliefs. Yeah, I understand. But I agree with you. Well, then I guess I, I it wasn't I, a very good unpopular opinion. Bro, I, also, I, uh, I wish I had the strength to become a vegetarian. I wish I did. <laughs> I really wish I did. Well, you know. Well, pig, if I'm not mistaken, pigs eat their own shit and cows don't. I mean, that's one difference. Do they really? <laughs> is that a rumor or do they really eat their own shit? I just checked it right now. It said they do. Yeah. They so why, how are they going to claim they're smart if they eat their own shit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I think they'll pretty much eat anything. But I mean... Mm, I, I can't. I can't. I can't talk shit. I'm the same way. <laughs> you eat your own shit. I'll eat my, pretty much anything. <laughs> All right, Dan. Well, I'm, I stand with you. Dan. Well, I guess I didn't do a very good job. But I'm with you. I, I appreciate the cause. All right. Fair enough. Ab, you want to go? Yeah, I got. I got a really spicy one, and I hope none of the fan base gets uh, upset at me. But uh, Ab's about to be like, I think. Woody Allen is innocent. No, no. Really crazy take. Let's hear it. <laughs> Thank you for that. But no, I, I was going to say, and I'm being biased, I like the H3 podcast better than H3H3. Oh, no, I'll agree you. with that. I really? mean, the H3H3 videos are classic. Well, at, at I, least at least you get new content with the podcast. Yeah, you get new content. But also, <laughs> I just feel like with H3H3, with like they were great. The great videos, great sketches and everything. But the humor, I feel like in real life is always better. Like, you know, stuff that just comes up more naturally. Uh, and I feel like there's just more moments of that. Are you just on... saying that to fucking... No, I swear. That's that's my take. <laughs> Thank you, A.B. And I know we're not talking about stuff that pisses us off, but can I say one thing for anyone that's making uh, critical videos <laughs> of uh, of Ethan or H3? Um, you fucking idiot. Stop using the social blade chart of H3H3. He doesn't make videos on that anymore. That is the stupidest proof. Oh, people do that? It's it's so bizarre to me. Yeah, they make a video, try to act smart, and then they use the wrong fucking graph every single time, and it drives me insane. Wait, what are they? Oh, oh Amy, I didn't know people were making hate videos about me and showing yeah, what the graph. <laughs> Why'd you have to bring that up? No, I'm We're having not a perfectly a, I'm fine a, time. I'm sorry. <laughs> so there's people making hate videos about me and showing the graph of my old channel? Yeah, I mean, not so, the graph. What like of subscribers going yeah, down? Yeah, saying, or oh yeah, it's well, continuing. Yeah, it's a dead channel. I mean, yeah, I do. And Ethan said that many times himself. That right. yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> you hit me with the left. You say, oh, I love the podcast. You hit me with the right. Everyone's making eight videos about your dad. <laughs> not That's everybody. Not you know, the same bottom feeders. Yeah. Yeah, I unsubscribed from that channel long ago. Fuck you, AB. You unsubscribed from uh, from my own right? channel. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, AB. A little love, a little hate. Yeah. We like the balance. <laughs> you got to balance it out, yeah. <laughs> Who's up? Ian. Stand up, Ian. Stand up. Let's go. 
Stand up, Ian. Ian. Stand up. Ian, please stand up. Ian, please stand up. All right, up. all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. Whoa! Oh, Excuse sorry. Excuse me? Let me cut that one second. Excuse me? <laughs> Ian. <laughs> or I can leave it in. It doesn't. Yeah, it's funny. Fuck it. Go ahead. Ian, um, please stand up. Stand up, Ian. Again. Ian, please Ian. stand up. Ian, please stand up. Ian, please stand up. All right, I'm sitting down. Uh, this just popped in my head. I've, I, I've had multiple arguments about this one, so I think it's good. I really enjoy daylight savings time. Oh my God, we've had this conversation. Okay, this, this is a good one for being what unpopular. Year is it? Daylight savings when they take a, an hour away and it gets dark early. It's hard to explain, but I, I get kind of excited <laughs> at it. Because it gets dark early? It's, you know, the gaining of the hour or the losing of the hour, either way, I get a weird little thrill about like, God, my life's fucking boring. I fucking hate this take. You're right. You're right. This is a great selection. So do you get unhappy when it goes back to normal? I like going to my oven and like changing this shit. Really? <laughs> Ian. You like that, huh? It feels it feels in a way this sounds so sad, but it feels like a little mini holiday. It's like, oh it's saving it's savings. I gotta go something to do. Do eh? my microwave Some... adjustment. So wait, how do you feel when it goes back to daylight losing? Or what do you call it when you Or go... when you when it, it when it hits? I don't think it, it really I don't think it really matters to him which direction it's going. You just he, like he when the clocks it. change. When the clocks change, he's happy. It feels like something's happened. Hmm. <laughs> I know what you mean about something happening. We, we had a vote in California. Uh, what, was it two years ago? It might have been 2018, where they were uh, they were putting up to a vote to abolish daylight savings time here in the state. Um, and I remember having this conversation with Ian, and he's like, "I'm voting no," and I'm like, "I, I lobbied him hard because I'm like, fuck daylight savings time. It's obnoxious. It's antiquated. It's so dumb." And wait, did it fail? The bill fail? You know, no, I, I think it passed. I think it passed. So what's but, going on? But the thing was, it was the bill was just a proposal for the state assembly to then put together a proposal. It's just some stupid shit. Basically, nothing came of it. Which Love, do you guys do that in Sweden where you change the clocks? Yeah, of course. And in Sweden, it's actually almost needed. Yeah, because it you, makes more sense in Sweden for sure when you're that it's latitude. 2 a.m. right now or in the middle of the night. And it's bright outside. Holy shit. Yeah, and the sun is coming You're up. You're a northerner, so that's bro. Needed. Yeah. Yeah, that's you a know, different story. I love it's, that it's e definitely not needed here. Ian's voting with the farmers. Keep daylight saving. Ian, please stand I think up. that's even a yeah. myth that it's for the farmers. Who's it for, then? It's for me. Ian, <laughs> for, it's for, for Ian, Ian to feel like something's Weirdos happening. Weirdos like Ian. Well, Ian, that certainly was an interesting one. When you, Ian, like, stand up. when it moves and it's technically later in the day, when you wake up earlier, you feel like you got a little extra time. The sun's up. It's mm. not, you're not, you know, it's, it, it hits. It hits. You know what? My interesting take on that is that I don't even notice. I do nothing. I change nothing. I notice nothing. It doesn't <laughs> affect me. You live a lifestyle where you usually don't have a deadline to be doing something or be somewhere early in the morning. Like, hey, I vote. No, I vote keep it. No, I'm kidding. I'd vote to Hell abolish yeah, it. Yeah, I would vote go. to abolish it. I'm sorry, Ian. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Ian. Stand up, Ian. I'm with you, Ian. Ian. Like, yeah. Stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, Ian. Well, Please stand and by up. the way, I, 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 this isn't like a new opinion, like my luxurious life where I don't. This has always been. I've never You've acknowledged never daylight savings. Thank you. AB, yes, you wanted to support me. Please, thank you. Yeah, I support you. <laughs> I said I support Ian, but I support you too. <sighs> I'm surrounded thank by you. Ooh. You have that. You have that feeling too, like where it's like it doesn't really affect me that much. Me, I'm just yeah. I'm I'm just trying to go to sleep. You don't early. sleep, yeah. So, you, but like who? You're I'm sorry, but it doesn't fucking matter for yeah, you. That's true. Who changes their clock in this day and age? I don't. I don't change my electronics time. They well, know. right. Most of them automatically do it, but you still you lose an hour of sleep on the uh, the fall one, right? Fall, yeah, you gain fall. it that night. I mean, or, it's not. It's not. No, like it's you'd... the spring one. Spring forward, fall back. Right. right. Okay. All right. Oh, look at that, Zach. I never heard that before. Lots of uh, lots of heat here today on the H3 podcast. Lots the of hottest, uh, disagreement. The hottest of the hot takes. Who's up next? It's Zachary. Zach. Let's go. Um, 
I, I, th- my take could be uh, considered somewhat of a meme, uh, but I know a lot of people dislike uh, what I'm about to say. And as the uh, in-house rock and roll trivia history winner, um, <laughs> I feel like I should come out and say this, that um, people need to stop hating on Nickelback. Oh, that is pretty unpopular. They they are a good fucking band. Oh you know, I know it's a meme, like, oh, fuck Nickelback. They have Billboard records, all right? Mm. They write good fucking songs, and there's not a single person sitting there that's going to tell me they don't know a fucking Nickelback song, and they, they don't. I, d- like I don't it. know a Nickelback song. You Sing one for me, Zach. Like, I'm if, through maybe if standing you in line, the club will never get in. It's like the bottom of the ninth, and I'm never going to win. Doesn't <laughs> I don't know that at all. Like, you guys Nick- know Rockstar? I'm with you, Zach. Thank I'm you, AB. You. Rockstar. Well, I mean, they, uh, what's another? I it, mean, maybe. If the, you, you know what? You guys should have paid attention better on the tour because Trisha explained that Rockstar was shot at the Playboy Mansion by Nickelback. Yeah, oh, I didn't it, know it, it's a solid. They are a solid fucking band. Look, I don't, I don't have the credentials to dispute you on that, Zach. Got you, Zach. They are solid, and they hold Billboard chart records. Look it up. I believe I, you, No, man. I know they're a top-selling band. That doesn't mean they're good. They're a fantastic band, and people need to stop hating on them. I've always wondered why <laughs> they get so much hate. That, yeah. I, don't, I don't know why. I mean, people throw fucking rocks at them on stage. <laughs> Jesus. Like, I, they, they write good fucking music. <laughs> and I it, love it, the passion, though. It, it might be considered, okay, you know, they're fucking douche. Like, no. It's Wait, a, why do people not like them so much? I think people just think they're douchey and yeah, I've heard things about the lead singer being a douche. Chad Kroger and his name is Chad Kroger, bro. How do you forgive that? <laughs> he he just just the I, records they make really good songs. I'm just I just want to say that I've I just want to say to hear one. I'm a I'm a closet Nickelback fan. Not, not anymore. anymore. Yeah, yeah. You're out in the open now. Yeah. <laughs> Nickelback. I mean, that's a great take, Zach. I got to say, that's a that's a I good. Mean, that's a genuine, thank you, unpopular opinion. And honestly, I I, I have nothing to say really in in response. Uh, well, I'll, here, I'll, why does why here why does Nickelback get a bad reputation? This is Google's answer. Right now, it's become trendy to hate Nickelback, and no one even knows why. The band's tour manager said, "The main argument people make for hating Nickelback is that their music is bland and generic, and all of their songs sound the same." Yeah, true. I don't see. I don't. But that's the vibe you're getting with them. I'm not saying they're the greatest band in the world. I'm just saying they they write quality music. Here's they're another summary, songs. Zach. What's so bad about Nickelback? Nickelback is too much of everything to be enough of something. <laughs> okay, try to bend my mind, trying to explain so hard. I'm kind of team Zach after reading that. Thank you. They Thank follow you. genre expectations too well which is seen as empty imitation, but also not well enough, which is read as commercial tactics and a lack of stable, sincere identity. I wow. think I think wow. where, where it hit bad for them was they, they were signed, I think they still might be, to a label called Roadrunner, and they wanted to make them like the next it band, which they did, but in doing so, they made them come off like douches. And oh, here's a here's a good one. Nickelback became the world's most hated band because they churned out formulaic generic music, behaved child, childishly in public, and wrote misogynistic content into their lyrics. Mm. Wow. wow. Misogyny. Zach, do you hate women? No. Are you sure? Are you because sure? You know, you're defending a, the misogynist. I, I did not know about Zach's that. Zach's canceled. I did not I did not know about Wow, that. Zach. I'm actually I'm trying to find examples of their <laughs> misogyny. But I couldn't mean, you say that with any rock yeah, song? Yeah, easily. Like, yeah. Easily. like I mean, Steven Tyler sure. uh, yeah. had sex with like 14-year-old. I just year fucked old. a 12 year old who threw me on the hood of my car. That's like every lyric. I mean, yeah, any yeah. any rock song. I mean, you you could say it does. That. No, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, with you, I, Zach. I I don't know Nickelback's music well enough to you know cite specific examples. I, I can tell you, you know, they were a, a rock radio staple for years right. in like the late '90s and 2000s, and uh, every time I ever heard something from them, it bored me to death so well it's there you just, go it's just like you want to sit back and have a good beer you put on some fucking nickelback bro but, i i as much as i as much as i support you i feel like if you're hanging out with people and put on nickelback <laughs> you'll they'll not hang out with well, you yeah. no 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 that's that's why you know you got to keep it on that's the why secret but you got to keep it on the dl yeah, right yeah. so i'm i'm just making my stance right now that oh people, they're the look at this photograph right right right, right. right. oh yeah, yeah okay oh There's that a, song is so annoying dude there's a really oh. funny um <laughs> No, I there's a really funny TikTok meme You're of them. Wrong. Yeah, right. Where look they go, this. look at this fucking guy. They edit it to make it sound like 
<laughs> and then they play something. I know the look at this graph one. Yeah, look, look at this fucking well. guy. I mean, just look at him though, Zach. I mean, the guy, the bro. He man, looks like me. He right looks now. like Zach. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, it does look like Zach. Shit. I'm not saying like I, by any means is he a musical Zach. influence, but well, okay. Zach has a beard, not a goatee and mustache. That's pretty douche. But it's everything going on in his face is wrong. Right, but I'm just saying, I, he's got, <laughs> he's a, got a Buka Jal necklace. He's got a decent voice, and they write good fucking songs. What, whether what he looks like, you know, he, it makes good fucking songs. I see why people hate this guy. Well, yeah, just screams douche Chad Kroger, bro. It just screams douchebag. And I'm not denying that. I'm just saying people need to start, you know. If you're a Nickelback fan, it's okay. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. I like that statement. That's a good statement. I think that's a really good one. Thank you. Good job, Zach. Thank you. <laughs> Look at this fucking guy. So Keemstar, you know I love talking about Keemstar. He's he's the worst person I know. Worse than his Saddam Hussein. Literally, you know, I feel like Keemstar would do more damage in Iraq than Saddam Hussein, let's be honest. I'm anti-Semitic. <laughs> you know, he's basically waging wars against humanity on YouTube. I'm busted. Yeah. So anyway, he got in a Twitter fight with like a bunch of Twitch streamers and got ratioed by them all. People were just clowning on him, which I love. But Hassan actually made a groundbreaking revelation about Keemstar. He said, you are legally not allowed to be near schools. Keemstar is not allowed near schools. That's so interesting. I didn't know that about him. I wonder why. Usually they don't let people near schools if they're like sexual offenders, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know. I, I, didn't know re- I didn't know that about him either. Is that verified? Well, Hassan said you are legally not allowed near schools. So right. I'm just assuming that I'm just insinuating that, that Keemstar may be a sexual predator. Right. <sighs> so frustrated <laughs> if he's not allowed near schools i don't know <laughs> yeah I, I i i feel like we should definitely take what hassan is saying on face value without any kind of follow-up and uh just assume that yeah he's right he's gotta have insider information i heard that he has to knock on all of his neighbor's doors every time he moves that's why he doesn't move because he's had this house in buffalo he lives at for so long oh. that's why he doesn't move because he has to alert all of his neighbors yeah that would be a hassle it's like a romeo julia <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I don't know that information. This is a joke. This is parody. Parody, parody. He may be a predator, but I have no information, too. You have no way of saying one way or the other. Hassan does, though. He says, you are legally not allowed near school. That sounds official. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's an official statement. Yeah, yeah we actually... It, uh, somebody reached out to me on Discord, uh, and they want to call in, and apparently they were a neighbor of Keemstar's. What? Yeah, dude. And they... That's what they say, um, but... Supposedly, you know, Holy I guess if they were shit. a neighbor, they would have some info about, you know, him. Coming Whoa, out the door. this is groundbreaking. Yeah. So um, let me uh, let me cue it up. Let me get him in here. Got your man. Got your fuckers. Oh, no, oh what the Joe fuck? Biden. Got your man. Yo, how is he doing this? What has he got? Like NSA resources? How do you keep uh, getting in our discord, bro? Don't I, you have a country to run? You got, got, got hackers at every area code. <laughs> All right. What do you want to talk? about? You want to talk about Keemstar? Now you listen here, Jack. I'll show you a beanstalk. I've heard it is Keemstar fella. Okay, you want to talk about Keemstar? Squatch one mule on a bugle beater speedway. I'll tell you what. I just passed an executive order banning Keemstar from being 100 feet within schools, man. Trust me. That I, that I, like, I like. Oh, yeah. nice. Well, yeah, man. Look, I like smelling a little girl's hair as much as the next guy, <laughs> Best Buy. But this Keemstar ain't right in the head, man. My granddaddy told me, ne- never trust a man with a beard that black, man. It ain't right. <laughs> right. It's not that's true. Oh, that's good advice. That is good advice from your dad. You're not, he's trying to make a little sense here. Yeah, he's getting more coherent as this goes on. Okay. Along. Look, man, look. My son, he died of brain cancer, and I thought that was a bad experience, but I just watched a drama alert. And let me tell you, that was worse, man. If you were a willy waddling down old man, winter's wow, bag of bones. Oh, that is. Day. Find DJ Whoa. Keemstar Melon Munchin in Solomon Hollows down by the abandoned pier. All right. See myself. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> All right. I mean, I, I'm happy to hear that somebody's finally doing something about the Keemstar problem. Hmm. Do you want to? Okay. Well, um, did you, I guess, did you see that everyone was roasting him on Twitter? I guess you were enjoying, you follow Keemstar, you follow Keemstar drama. I mean, you're the president. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I've never, I've never played the guitar. 
What? <laughs> I, I know a fellow once, a real son of a birch tree. As a matter of fact, the guitar he played was made of birch, beautiful grains in the wood. I can still see it in my key, mind. Keem star, not guitar. In the call, Keem, okay, all right. All right, enough uh, Joe Biden. Let's be honest. We've got Andrew Callahan of All Gas, No Breaks, who's got an absolutely incredible story to tell. He used to run All Gas, No Breaks, the beloved channel that we've we've had him on the show. Super popular, amazing kind of journalistic comedy show. And he had like a really dramatic breakup with his partners, I guess you would say, on um, All Gas, No Breaks. And he started a new channel, Channel 5, on YouTube. You can subscribe follow on Patreon, Channel 5. Anyway, I've got Andrew on the line, and I we're going to talk to him about all this and all of his new content. It's going to be great. Okay, we have with us today the one and only Andrew Callahan, for, the artist <laughs> formerly known as All Gas, No Breaks, now known as Channel 5. Hey, how are what's you? Up, what's up, man? Good, <laughs> good to know, see it's, you. It's, it's been a long time. It has been a long time. I love you. I love your content. And I'm just Thanks, very man. because you 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 were a guest on our podcast and a popular guest too. People love people just uh-huh. love you and your content and hearing you talk. And I'm absolutely fascinated, riveted by the switch up to Channel Five from All Gas No Breaks. This is very interesting. A little business drama, yeah. would, could you say? I mean, a little business drama. I just you know I didn't just like I didn't expect the channel to be that big. I didn't expect shit to get that ugly once uh, you know. It came down to it, but it was a, it was a weird transition, but like, if it was really hard to give up something that is like, it's like your child, you know, like you spend so much time putting effort into something and you feel so much like pride about it. But at the end of the day, I had to sacrifice all gas, no breaks to be independent. So I'm happy that I did that. So tell me what happened. So basically like, um, so around six months ago, say in like November, December, I started shooting a movie with Tim and Eric and a couple other partners who like we've yet to announce but basically like i was shooting full time for like the the absolutely tim and eric movie Mm -hmm. and uh basically the company that i used to work for doing things media who owned all gas no breaks who i signed the contract with when i was super young they were kind of being like yo like it's cool you're doing the movie we need you to make you know make more content like you know basically work double duty to make the movie and the the instagram and youtube show all gas no breaks And uh, I couldn't do it. Like, I literally couldn't do it. Like, I was shooting, like, almost seven days a week for the Abso movie and and all that. And so I told him, like, yo, I will do it, but I need, like, a little bit more of a percentage because when I signed the deal around that time, I was only making 20% of money from the show. So they were getting, like... uh, Just to to clarify for the people listening, because we've talked about this privately, 20% of the ad revenue, 20% of the merch... And 20% yeah. of the Patreon, which has gr- had yes. grown quite large. Yeah, I was making like almost $100,000 plus a month, but I was yeah. only seeing 20% of that. But, you know, I'm not going to blame the company. I signed the deal when I was super young. All Gas No Breaks started with me hitchhiking across the country, writing stories about it. Like I told you, <laughs> they bought me the RV. I was like, fuck it. I didn't even care about the money. I just love to like be on the road, like diving into weird shit all the time. Like I wasn't thinking about like, oh, I need to make as much money as I could. Cause man, I was like 21 years old. Mm-hmm. So I didn't, I didn't expect things to evolve so much and go down so quickly, but here, here's what happened. So I'm shooting for the movie under a lot of pressure to make more videos. Uh, I basically said, okay, you know, I'll make more videos if you give me more of a percentage. Mm-hmm. I'm saying this cause this all came out in the New York times, you know, uh, I was like, you know, if you want me to make more videos for you while I'm shooting the movie, need a little bit more, like money, <laughs> you know, because it's like I don't want to work two jobs if I'm not getting paid for two jobs worth. Look, you're bring, you're then, growing yeah. the channel, you're grinding. At a certain point, you got to revisit yeah. that contract, right? But especially like I couldn't even make all gas no breaks videos if I wanted to because I was shooting constantly for this movie, which hopefully will be announced soon. And, and, and by uh, the way, were they yeah. were they involved in this movie at all? Because you were were you doing that as Andrew Callahan yeah. or as yeah, all the, gas the, no they're, breaks? They're partners, but cr- so what the fuck they want? They're, they're already getting a piece of that. What do they want from you? Well, I mean, obviously the digital show is more profitable than the movie. Like you can make more money off of YouTube and Patreon than you can with a movie, especially like a movie might come out in eight months from when you start. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like a movie might come out a lot. for them. It's like, they wanted like money, like right then and there, you know, they're making 80% of money from the show that I was making, like basically by myself. So, um, they said no to my offer, you know, so things kind of got kind of stopped talking to them. Things kind of went sour and then, you know, they fired Nick and Evan, 
via email. Those are your homies who you started out with, who go in the RV with you. Yeah, right? yeah. Yeah, they fired them. And this is whenever we were like sleeping in the RV uh, in the cold in Philadelphia at the Walmart. They got termination notices in their email. And I was like, fuck, sorry, guys. Like, <laughs> you're out of a job, man. I don't know what to tell you. That was really hard for me to do. But then they ultimately just like, I, at that point, I was like, I wanted to get out of the contract. You know, I was like, this is crazy. Like, my two best friends are fired. I can't do this. So I just started not making any videos. I was like, I'm going to make this movie all the time. And then they sent me a something in the mail that said that if I didn't produce a certain amount of pieces of Patreon content by like, I think it was March 1st, I'm not quite sure, I'd be terminated. And then, yeah, they just, they fired me in the middle of shooting for the movie. Man, that's, <laughs> they're such, they seem like such at like short, not only like douchey, but like so short sighted. I mean, yeah, y'all could have I mean, made it, was really, it work. Really confusing. Yeah, like I mean, I if they would have said yes to my offer, I probably would still be doing all gas, no breaks. You know, because I wanted to make it work. I didn't want to say goodbye to my show forever. You know, and just have it be this thing that I work so hard on that I have no control over. But at the end of the day, like I'm having more fun with the channel five. The Patreon's popping. Like the YouTube numbers are pretty good. You know, like it feels good to own my own masters now and not have to like answer to anybody. So. At the end of the day, like it was a small setback for what I think will be like a better return. Yeah. Part of the reason I'm, I wanted to talk to you today is because I want people to know Andrew is on Channel 5. And if you are supporting him on Patreon on All Gas No Breaks, all that's going to these these uh, fucking goons who stole the show from you. I don't give a fuck. I'll say it. You don't have to say it. I'll say it. They stole the show, bro. So don't don't support them on Patreon. Channel 5 on Patreon all day. And on YouTube Thanks, and man. everywhere. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I, I want to start getting into like new platforms. Like, I want to start doing like Twitch shit, and, like TikTok stuff. Like, you know, I know you guys do all that, but TikTok's I want to like awesome. learn how to use. I want to learn how to use new platforms and like mm -hmm. just like try new shit out. Like, like live streaming because I live out of my truck now. Uh, I'm still on the road. And we're about to buy like an old school news van, like an NBC 1995 oh, van, and decal it out with Channel Five Love shit, that. and like put satellite dishes and all that. Yes. We're just gonna travel around the country and like find like dumbass small town drama and make like investigative documentaries on it. So, so like at that point, like that's gonna be tight. So let me ask you: Have they? I know they're like trying to find a replacement for you, which it's just dude the arrogance of these people. Have they been able to produce any content at all since you left? No, but um, it just so happens, and it's not something I'm seeking out, but I, they've tried a couple times to find a new host. And uh, on a couple occasions, the I didn't publish any information, obviously, because I don't have like a huge grudge against this company. It's whatever I'm moving on. I do, but for you. People who, pe people who have tried to replace me, they've tried to find replacements. And the replacements have reached out to me, and it didn't work out. Oh. Well, One it's replacement not, in particular well, all, is crazy. Th there's so much components to the all gas no breaks genius it's you as the host and it's also the editing it's the vibe it's the whole fucking thing like you can't bottle that and, re and reproduce it it's just it's mental yeah i mean i totally agree and that's like the case i tried to make when i was trying to negotiate for myself but they just told me like it's okay we have connections in the comedy world like we'll find a replacement Man, that's all. And then people are loyal to you too. It's just such a train. It's like, I can't imagine making a worse business decision even, and also just being so vindictive. It's like, um, they, it's like they, they killed the goose that laid the golden egg, bro. Yeah. That's how I felt too, man. I was like, fuck, I put everything into this and I kept like gaslighting myself kind of and being like, am I crazy for asking for this? Like, do I deserve any money? Like, I don't know, man, when your back's against the wall and there's just people in your ear telling you that like, you're only a small part of the whole thing. It's Bullshit. Like, it's you are to the listen thing. Listen to dude. yourself. Yeah, I was shocked when I heard that. I was like, wow, man. I was like, I'll buy your shit. Yeah, show. dude, straight <laughs> up. I was like, like I, I, know, I, want a, I, like, I want a piece of the action. <laughs> no, for sure. I'm glad we can talk about it. Cause like, like I said, like it's not even I have no like grudge against the company. You know, I mean, that's how companies do. You know, it happens time and time Shitty again. Ones, if people yeah. have an opinion, but I mean, I feel like independence is the only way. And it's, sure. it's like the noble way too. You know what I mean? So you probably, I, I have a suspicion you're probably even making more money now already. Um, close, close to making enough money. But honestly, dude, like I only want money so I can like do crazier and cooler shit. Like I just went to a QAnon convention in Dallas last weekend and I'm going to Can't Vegas wait. tomorrow to get pickup, pickup artist training. So it's like, Oh baby. Money that, yeah. It's That's going to be tight. And like, so the money is just for like sick ass old cameras and like gas money and flights for everybody. So I'm really curious about, is there, is their Patreon like uh, bleeding? I haven't. They, Dude, they I don't even know. They, they me, it, if you have you intel on that, Dan, let me know. 
Because the page, the all gas no breaks Patreon had like twenty thousand. There was like really good, lots of supporters there. Doesn't look like their uh, Patreon numbers are public, but um. Oh, they hid them because before they were public. For sure. Yeah. They're like, oh shit, this isn't working. <laughs> Yeah, and one thing about the companies, they, they weren't like huge dicks. They weren't mean to me or anything while we worked together. We had a pretty good working relationship until, yeah. you know, the contract shit came up. Like, I don't have like strong negative feelings, but man, like that whole co- capital C, like digital content factory, mm. you know, man, it's crazy. It's just like you were saying that people who, who were attempted to uh, replace you, did they have any interesting anecdotes? Yeah, you know, it's like, I don't know how much I can say. But one dude in particular, I felt so fucking bad for him. And like, he was, I think he was told when he was going to replace me that like some of my friends were still involved and that I was going to vouch for him and give like a smooth transition of power to him and all that stuff. And uh, after he figured out what was going on, it's just like, bye. Oh, they're lying to people now to replace you. Oh, uh, bro. Well, anyway, enough about that. Your new content on Channel 5 is amazing. It's the same shit. I mean, it's Thanks. it's you. It's just as good as it ever was. I was watching this Thanks, one man. about the um the White Lives Matters protest. Yeah. You know, I, Huntington I, Beach. I, I, I'm so interested about like first of all, this guy is amazing. The Kobe wait here, let me Kobe Bryant was killed by the Kobe Clintons. Kobe Bryant. How many people know that? They assassinated Kobe Bryant. They tried to kill Tiger Woods in that car accident recently. Why? The Kobe Bryant deal is that he had dirt on the uh on the Clintons. I love black people. I love everybody. We're all God's children. Isn't this a white lives matter rally? Uh well I'll tell you what, this whole thing with the virus with being <laughs> Do you believe he didn't Chifa, know he was at a white that lives was matter? The president well, okay, here's the thing. I talked to an LA Weekly journalist about that specific event. Uh, if you look at the way that event was designed and promoted via social media, it was like this super like sleek looking, graphically pleasing, like White Lives Matter rally. It was definitely planned by like a, it was like a PSYOP to try to identify white nationalists after the January 6th Capitol riot. Oh, you think it was For a sure. PSYOP? Interesting. Oh, shit. Yeah, because That's super it absolutely was because there was that. no central leadership. No, there was no one there being Whoa. like, hey, I'm the organizer. It, it was weird kind of like fringe dudes like that guy who kind of fell victim to the uh, Facebook marketing. Mis- yeah. The Facebook marketing and stuff. Like, and I even went to the page. You try to contact them. It like, Yo. it was like no reply, send error. Really weird. They're just trying to, I don't know who's like, I'm not even a conspiracy Russia, theorist. Like straight that, up like, too. It's no. fucking crazy it's probably the fbi you think it's the fbi but that's kind of epic yeah yeah, so you're the FBI. And they, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you're doing I mean, real journalism to, yeah. out there i swear to god thanks man I mean, what better way to identify violent white nationalists and like violent left-wing people there to confront them than to schedule a fake clan rally in california well Let's you know this. there was one guy here that i it's funny you say that there was one specific guy who was like I was there. I think you know where I was on January 6th. Where were you? Same guy. I think you know where I was on January 6th. <laughs> Trump is still in control. FBI's of the like, country. oh. Where'd you get those shoes from? Those are pretty fresh. <laughs> those are uh, just. But yeah, I was kind of interested because it felt like. I did. I got the impression that the people that, that were there were just like misguided Trump supporters, not necessarily like super f- crazy, racist, violent people. Although that guy was at January 6th. But then the counter protesters were getting like super, super yeah. charged up. The anti, I guess Antifa, I don't know what you call them. Is that proper? I mean, it just left wing, militant left wing protesters, whatever you want yeah, to call them. People down the throw, throw yeah. hands at a counter protest. Yeah, dude, I mean, a lot of those people, man, like at the White Lives Matter rally, like that that Kobe Bryant was assassinated by the Clintons guy. Like he's definitely a misinformation victim. I mean, he was, I had a, a conversation with him off camera and I was asking him like, so where do you get your news from? Like, where, how do you consume information? And he was telling me about these like fucked up weird fringe podcasts that he listens to. He was like, I listened to uh, this one podcast called Patriot Street Fighter for like 12 hours a day, which encourages oh. him to like go out and like get into brawls with uh, Antifa or whatever. I, I honestly yeah. feel bad for that guy. He seems like a nice guy. And then you start yeah. To learn about his life story, like his what his wife left him and took the kids and shit, yeah. and it's just like all tragedy. I feel bad for anyone who feels compelled to engage in like a political and counter political violence in any capacity against other humans. Like fucking people, like the people getting rich off of this conflict are just sitting back, smiling and laughing hard as shit. You know, mm-hmm. the Zuckerbergs and everything, just like you know, propagating division. It's like everyone's making money. The news stations, even me, I'm making money by making this video. It's literally just like, and people are going to jail. It's just classic mm-hmm. choreography that uh, is just sad like overall. It's been happening. Do you ever feel bad? You're like, damn, I'm here making money, and these people are all just like such victims. Or 
Do you ever? Well, have I mean, I would, like- but I'm try- I'm like actually trying to show what's going on. Yeah. You know, and like most of the money I make goes into making like more stuff. Like, you know, I, I went to just show how ridiculous the situation was. I'm like, you got <laughs> people here thinking that it's a White Lives Matter rally who were just coaxed into the snafu by Facebook misinfo. And then you got motherfuckers on the left, like that kid with the skateboard who like wants to kill this guy. Like, yeah. He's man. like, I literally want to kill you. I hope you die. Yeah. And, and that, that was really intense. In Cause I got the feeling watching that video that I was like, I bet these dudes, if they met in a bar or somewhere like neutral, they could work this shit out. Oh yeah. The mutual humanity goes super ignored and it's sad. Well, I do. I, uh, as funny and entertaining as your videos are, I've always got the sense that it, like, in a lot of way, edu- educates me at what's really going on on the ground more than yeah, fucking reading an article about it could, you know. So we, um, um, oh, there's one other guy I want to talk about before I let you go. Uh, Spring Break. This is another Channel Five classic. So, By the way, you're at 500,000 subs. Wasn't All Gas No Breaks at 1 million? So you're like halfway there, right? I think All Gas No Breaks is like 1.7 million. And this is actually oh, wow. the first interview I've done to promote Channel 5. I mean, like, in a way, I just like let it do its thing. Oh, well, let's so fucking go. I want I all y'all it. to go sub Channel 5, dude. And I want y'all to go to yeah. All Gas No Breaks and leave a comment that says, what's the name of the company? Uh, I don't even want to start shit like that, <laughs> man. <laughs> I was just going to say, okay, let's leave it at that. You guys know what to do. Foot soldiers mount up. <laughs> What's going on, bro? What's up? What's on your mind? What do you think about all the ass out here? Do you eat it? What? I eat ass. You eat ass? Look at that ass. Don't you just want to eat it? Yeah, I love yellow blood. Come eat ass with me tonight. You're not afraid to eat ass, are you? <laughs> okay. So we're eating ass tonight. Curvy's at 8. Meet me at 8.30. That fucking guy disturbed. What, what does it mean to eat ass together, Andrew? Like one tongue, yeah. two tongues, one butthole, or what? What happened at eight thirty? Yeah, did you meet him Who at eight thirty? I did not meet him at eight thirty. I went to Fort Lauderdale because you know how they were militarizing Miami Beach to stop people from uh, from turning up, but everyone just went to Broward County, which is like 15, 20 minutes north, mm-hmm. and just kept it going. So I, I followed the party. Oh, but yeah. I, I do wonder if that guy waited for me uh, outside that bar. Oh, I would have loved to know if he was there at 8 30 waiting for mm. you. Dude, Miami Beach is like hell on earth, like Ocean Drive. Like, I never want to go back there again. That's but I have to go to Rolling Loud next month. I want to like interview rap fans, like Travis I got, Scott fans. I got that same impression <laughs> when I, w- I went to Miami Beach once with uh, Ela when we were going to meet DJ Khaled. And it, I felt the same. I was like, this is hell <laughs> on fucking earth. This place is a nightmare, man. DJ Khaled lives at Miami Beach? Um, yeah. He's in, fl- yeah, he's in, yeah, I think so. Is he down by Key Biscayne or he lives like in an Ocean Drive apartment? He, he's in like a beautiful Ocean Drive. Like one oh, of those okay. Crazy I'm just imagining him in like yeah. a I've fucking one way. bedroom no, studio but we went, apartment. They, they got us a hotel down there. We won some competition. It's This is like old memes, but our yeah. fans rigged a, a Valentine's Day competition where the prize was go meet DJ Khaled in Miami. And, Another uh, one. And we, so they flew us down and put us up in Miami and we fucking spent a day with DJ Khaled. Dude. It was wild. That's kind of sick. Was he tight or was he like kind of weird? Super nice, bro. And I gave him a lot of shit too. Like I'm embarrassed looking back at the things I put him through. But he was. What did you, you make him do? <laughs> well, because we made like a whole shitload of videos goofing on him back in the day. That was like kind of our whole. We made like five videos just shitting on DJ Khaled, and uh, I made him watch him. <laughs> Damn, but it, I mean, it was real torture. It was it was good, man. But he had a good sense of humor. Yeah, about was I, I was impressed by him, bro. I can't I say a bad thing about Khaled. He was he was a good dude. Good, yeah. <laughs> What's a celebrity you really didn't like? Hmm, interesting. I know one big. Oh, one. I can't say. You can't just say, say it, bro. It's you fine. Say it. Just say it. Well, I, I was just thinking Jake Paul. We had him on the oh, podcast. He's and... not a celebrity. He's a fucking. He's a celebrity. Jake Paul's obvious. Jake Paul's definitely a celebrity. With him, so. Ethan, how do you how do you handle so much YouTube beef all the time? Lots of antidepressants. Yeah, Lexapro, like, twenty milligrams. Online, I'm like Jesus, dude. I'd be so high anxiety if I was you. You're getting sued. <laughs> no, it, You're fucking my my exposing people. Yeah, my energy, my anxiety levels are just always at a humming at a perfect ninety five percent. So. 
gotcha. I just got used to sailing at that rate. How's Theodore? Theodore's great. He's turning two on the fourth, two days from now. Elis pregnant. Does he say any funny stuff? He, was, you have a, you're having a second kid, We're bro. We're having a second kid. It's family time. Damn. Baby. What are you gonna name it? Him we don't know what it is yet. Mm, and it might be twins too. Real? We have a feeling that it might even be twins. So we're in for. Oh man, we're in for it now, boy. Speaking of twins, you guys should go watch uh, the latest Channel Five video. It was, you know, my cameraman Nick. Have you met him before? I don't know. Did I meet him at your house when we did the podcast together? Yeah, I think you might have met him pretty briefly. He just did his first solo documentary. Oh, the Hoff twins. It's the that Hoff was him. Twins. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was him. how fun. It's one of my faves of all time. I I, did, I haven't watched it yet, but I saw people buzzing around about it. Cool. Fuck yeah. Um, go guys, Channel Five. Support Andrew Callahan. He's a real one, doing real shit. So Patreon, Thank YouTube, you. everywhere. Get on it. Instagram. You can ask me anything. You can ask me anything. Anything, bro. Do it. Book it. Do you still? Oh yeah. Okay. When's the last time you got uh-huh. laid? Um, yesterday. <laughs> oh, good. Who's the girl? Is it Thanks. random or a girlfriend? Uh, somewhere in between. Okay. Nice. You know. Yeah. You're going steady. You're not seeing other girls, though. Are you? You are you? Uh, well, I mean, yeah. It's like I like to move around so much that it's kind of hard to maintain like mm. consistent relationship. But yeah, definitely. I mean, we'll see. What about you, man? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm married. Uh, last time I had sex was <laughs> let's see. Eva's been pregnant for. <laughs> She's been pregnant about five weeks, so about five weeks. I'm gonna come. Um you still <laughs> wanna you still wanna be the um the bachelor? We were talking about that. Do you think I have enough like swag? Yeah, definitely. Really? You still I'm up down, for that? I'm down. I'm fucking down. What when do how do I do it? When? All right, we'll set it up. We'll contact you. We Are gotta you start serious, dude. Well, the thing is we gotta start the application process. We gotta get girls to apply and then we start the This sounds fun. Yeah. Dude, if you're really down, I'll do it and I'll start like working out hella and then get spray tans or anything like that. Just to spray make tans more. would be sick. Yeah, but here's if the I deal. was hella tan. I'm just gonna warn you, this shit's not a joke. We've done it two previous seasons and they've both ended up in true romance. Really? Has Ian, any, have any of them Ian, fallen through? Ian met Sam. She's moved to LA. They live together now. What they've been together two years, Ian? Uh, yeah, stand close up. to two. Two years. And then Trisha was our second one. She's engaged now to Moses. They're getting married at the end of the year. So oh, I'm just damn. telling so you, you bro. Guys... This is a real shit. I'm all in. Hundred percent hundred percent success rate. And so Yeah, I'm just okay, great. <laughs> Wait to this movie to come, movie announcement, bro. I'm waiting on it. It's gonna be. I'm so excited, bro. Ooh, when you see the announcement, when you baby. see it, you're like, no fucking way, Doug. Like, it's crazy. Do you? Are you guys pitching? Are you like? Have you gotten the process? Of no, trying to bro. Sell? Okay, you're gonna way. It's damn near done. So you're gonna finish it and then try to sell it to whomever. <laughs> nah, it's been. It's it's already. Oh, it's locked in. <laughs> locked. Someone already yeah, bought it. Sure. You yeah, can't say. It's, Is it's, it streaming it's or network? We'll, we'll figure it out. I can't even. I can't, can't even talk say, about it. Can't say, baby, I'm but I'm gonna watch that shit, boy. Dude, you gotta man, come I'm back. I'm gonna come back when that's that. announced. You gonna come oh, back on and promote dude. when that shit's out? Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. I'm hoping it gets announced in the summertime. It's like, oh man, when you see this trailer, boy. <sighs> I'm super pumped, and you know I love absolutely who who's basically they plucked you to make this right. Like like Eric reached yeah, out to dude. you. Yeah, dude. Oh yeah, we didn't tell me that. I'm sitting. I'm at the UFO Mega Conference in this shitty town called Laughlin, Nevada, in South Nevada, and I'm at this casino, and I get a DM from Eric Wareheim, and he's like, "Yo, what's you want to make a show? We pitched the show. Every network rejected it. <laughs> really? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it's really funny. For whatever reason, what I mean, was the show? Can you talk there. about what it was? Oh, it was just it was just like an all gas no breaks like okay. network show, and like didn't work out. But I'm happy. And then we we got a little movie thing going on, and that's all I can really say. Wow, that's like a dream come true, I gotta say. Like, as a young budding comedian or artist of any kind, to get plucked out by the likes of Tim and Eric, who are like the kind of godfathers of modern comedy. I love those two guys. Yeah, shout out to uh, Dave Kneebone, too. He's the I met man. Dave Kneebone. Yeah. I pitched a show to What'd him, he never called about? me back. <laughs> oh, shit, don't bring me into this, man. <laughs> no, but I love him, I love him. The show was half-baked, I don't blame him, it wasn't good. The only I got in there because I was pitch I was uh, working with Justin Roiland, who's like who knows those guys. He's like, hey, my friend wants to pitch a show, so he got us the meeting, and um, it was like half baked. So I I don't blame him. Right. Yeah, do you think I should start? Do you think I should start streaming? 
Um, like, would that be kind of corny? Or like, could I do it in a cool way? Like, I'm trying. I don't really know how it works. I just know that it's super like. I budding, think you know? I try it. I mean, you have nothing to lose by trying it and seeing if it if it if it's. I kind of just want to like walk around random small towns that I'm in and just like talk to people and like stream it. But then that's kind of like weird. I don't know. I'll have to figure out a way to do it. Dude, streaming's weird. Like, I feel like anything can work these days. It really just and streaming is kind of its own different kind of art art. So you gotta just get in there and feel it out and see how the people like it. Yeah, I just want to try new stuff, man. Like. Yeah, give it a shot. I mean, Twitch is good. YouTube is a great place to stream, too. You got all your fans here on YouTube, so if you start a live stream, there's going to be a lot of people tuning in. It's a pretty good idea. I just want to, like, you know, make Channel 5 like a whole universe of different shows and different mm. platforms. Great idea. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, YouTube has, like, a TikTok style, like, they call it shorts, I think. So you can make TikTok. You can make the shorts for YouTube, put them on, on TikTok, get everything popping. How's your TikTok career going? I remember your first one crushing it bro let me check i'm at 1.5 on million let's fucking go bro damn just shit so that's posting. some stats tiktok is so fun because you just dude there's no pressure to make anything good and you just shit post and people yeah people i mean one it. of the areas that want the one i want to do that is all of our political content on youtube gets demonetized as well oh i gotta I, okay so i've been watching your videos i gotta give you yeah. tips bro because i see this shit and i'm like oh I, i'm like this video would do so much better let me tell you, in the first 30 yeah. seconds, this is crucial. You cannot curse at all. I see really? you dropping F-bombs in the first 30 seconds, and that it make, immediately makes it get demonetized and mature rated, too. So it's not going to be recommended. So the fact that you're even getting like half a million views on some of these is, is pretty amazing because I feel like if you were just a little bit more knowledgeable about YouTube norms, then yeah. these would be getting even more views. What if, I, yeah, what if I bleeped out like certain stuff in the first minute? So I think as long as there's no cursing the first 30 seconds, you're good. And then other things okay. like racial slurs or like threats of violence <laughs> and shit like that, you could bleep. I think that would help too. But I'll tell you what I'll do. There's a, there's a system. There is a system in place for big channels where yeah. you can send it to get pre-approval from YouTube. And, and then they'll be like, yo... So this part here is going to get you dinged. So if you want to change it, you can, and then we'll we'll give it a green light, and then it will never get demonetized. So you get this really Fuck great yeah. feedback. I can hook you up. Uh, I mean, I'll try. I'll hook you up with the people that run that program and see if they'll let you in. Thank you, homie. I appreciate it. That would be huge for us, bro. Yeah, I want to help you out however I can. You're the man, bro. Well, thanks for having me on. This shit was awesome. All right, guys. Channel 5, it is what it is. Looking forward to the movie announcement, dude. We'll talk then for sure. Oh, man, I can't wait. Sounds good. Let's bro. go. Movie theater at, at home. Movie theater at home. Oh, shit. I don't know. <laughs> I'd be sick to be in the yeah, theaters, I though. I would, I, bro, if it was in the theaters, I would just go to random screenings in small towns and, like, sit in the back. <laughs> then when it's done, just dap everyone out, up on the way out. You know, you never know. You say you say that this movie is not going to make as much as YouTube. You don't know, dude. Sometimes these movies just fucking go crazy with, like, a million-dollar budget. They turn a crazy profit. Yeah, for sure. I'm sure, I'm sure it's going to pop, bro. For sure. All right. Thanks for calling, dog. Keep it up. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Channel 5 all day, all right. every day. Thanks, man. All right. Till next time. Bye-bye. All right. That's it. We got a show here, folks. That's off the rails. Should I wrap it up here? <laughs> I guess so, yeah. Because this is the end. That's off the rails, guys. Thanks for watching. You know what it is. Totally off the rails, destroying our office. Until we just sit among a pile of rubble. That's right. Whoa! I was really off the rails today. Anyway, guys, come join us on Friday after dark. Everybody's favorite day of the week is Friday, baby, with Ela Klein, my beautiful wife and co-host. Get back on the rails. Please. No, I will not get back on the rails. Unless it's Friday. And we got a great show on Friday, so please join us then. Until then, thank you for watching. Stay good, stay safe, and stay blessed. <laughs> Ta-ta.